morning. All right, today is get stuff done day. Um, turned in, I put in grades this weekend and it was rough. Um, some classes did really well and some classes had almost nothing turned in. Um, so today you'll be working on getting your stuff turned in. Um, so what you're gonna do is I need you to go to your team, your class team, and come up to assignments. In assignments, you'll see the four assignments that we've done. Um, and you'll be able to see your score on the side and you'll see whether or not I've given it back to you if I've returned it and it's been graded. Um, if it's not been returned to you, that means you haven't done it. If you don't have points, that means it's not done. Um, there were some that were not finished, so I did not grade them. So you really need to make sure you finish your work and that you turn it in, right? When you finish an assignment, you will see this turn in button on yours. I can't see it because I have the teacher one, um, but you will see this turn in button on yours and you need to click that to turn it in. Um, there were quite a few assignments that were finished, but you hadn't clicked turn in. Um, it's really hard for me to grade them if you don't click the turn in button. So please make sure you're clicking that button. Um, okay, so in here you have your assignments. You have lesson two, lesson three, and then your vocabulary quiz, right? If you need help with these, there is this really cool button at the top now. This is your daily work. You should be checking this every day. So this is a chart of all the work we've done and kind of what we did in class. So if you miss class one day, um, this would be a great place to go and see what you need to do. So we have our goals for each day. This is in class. What did we do together? And then your independent time is in the afternoon, right? So you should be working for an hour or two every afternoon on your work from your classes. So this is what I was expecting you to do in your independent time. And then these are the things that need to be turned in. And then over here, you finally, you have videos. So there's a video for almost every lesson on how to do it. Um, so please make sure you're watching those videos to go along with it. So it starts back on the 22nd where we did lesson one. Okay, so you got lesson one, lesson two, lesson three, and then the vocabulary quiz. Alrighty. Again, if you need help finding these, you can go through your assignments. Dun, 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 dun. It's loading. You can go through your assignments and you can, um, this is what you see. You can go through here and click here and view your assignment and work on it on there. Or you can go through your OneNote. So you can come to your Office 365, click on OneNote, find your class's notebook. So click on OneNote. You can find your class's notebook, open it up. And then I'm gonna use, oh, I don't think I have anybody in this class that doesn't use theirs. All right, I'm gonna use Alejandro's because he finished all of his. He's a great student. Everyone should be like Alejandro. So you can come in, go to unit one, and then all of your stuff is in here too. So your lesson one, two, and three. So a reminder, lesson one, on lesson one, your job was to go through and work on this stuff, your vocabulary, and then watch your move, watch a uh, film, a video, oh my gosh, a video, and answer your questions down here, and then finish your lesson by doing this. Lesson two, looks like this, where you are coming in and we are looking at primary and secondary sources. So you're circling primary or secondary, you're coming down, working on your sentences, and then primary or secondary again, and explaining why. Super important to explain why. And then finally, you will come down and work on your form. These are like quizzes for each one. And then lesson three, finally, is the point of view. And on point of view, um, we did this together as a class, so you're good. We did this together as a class, so you don't need to write there. And then when you come down here, you're working on combining sentences using our different conjunctions. So you should be doing this part and this part. Awesome job, Alejandro. And then taking your um, point of view quiz where you're clicking on which ones are opinions and submitting it. Alrighty? So get your stuff done today. Work on your vocabulary quiz last. Um, to get to your vocabulary quiz, it's best to just go through here, through Teams. Um, <clears throat> when you click on it, it will take you to the quiz. All right, and then I will grade them for you. So please get your work done. Tell me when you get stuff done so that I can grade it and then 
you don't have so many zeros. All right, guys, have fun.